What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we are going to do something that I've never really done on my channel before. And no, I don't mean a group gangbang. We are going to do a full face first impression. So basically I have a lot of products laid out on my table and I'm going to be using things that I've never tried before. So instead of doing individual videos and all these things and reviewing them, we're gonna review them live on camera and God forbid, let's see what the hell happens. Now, everything that I'm going to be using today is brand new, except one thing, I've tried it literally once. Well, someone else did it on me, so I've technically never done it on myself. Now, this is going to be a little interesting. If something doesn't go right, just pray for me. If you guys want to see me try some new stuff and play with makeup, then keep on watching. Before we get started, I actually put on a serum before I did my makeup, which I should have done on camera, so you can slap me later. I discovered this crazy new thing from the brand La Paris. If you've never heard of them before, they are a very expensive skincare and makeup brand. They mainly specialize in anti-aging skin, moisturizers, serums, creams, eyes, everything. Ugh, they are such a good brand. But basically, this is the White Caviar Illuminating Pearl Infusion. This, this is going to protect your skin from from pollution and sun and all of the crazy dangers of the world. It's also allegedly supposed to take out sunspots and any discoloration. So of course I'm gonna use this for like probably a few months and see what happens, but I did already lay it down. So today we're gonna be trying a brand new primer from one of my favorite brands, Armani Beauty. Now this is the Day Long Skin Perfector. So basically this is going to create a nice blur effect on the skin, allegedly, that's what the packaging said. And it is supposed to keep my skin snatched all day long. Let's give it a whirl. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingers. I don't wanna put too much on. Oh, it's like really, um, mm, mm. It smells a little almost like hairspray and perfume, which is a little weird to me. Not horrible, it wasn't like overpowering, but it was a little weird. Of course, I'm going to do my neck. Can never forget about that. It feels almost like the Sisley primer that I reviewed months ago as well. It feels like really tacky, which I love because that means the makeup should be laid down amazing, but we will see shortly. All right, bam. Now, for foundation today, speaking of Sisley, they have a brand new foundation out. It might be a few months old, I'm not sure, but I bought it like a month ago and it's been sitting here. This is the all day long flawless skincare foundation. So I love their stuff because it all has like really expensive skincare. In the makeup, um, it's supposed to just really be nice over time. Um, we will see if that happens. Now, this shade is Zero Plus Vanilla. Um, I tried to shade match myself at the mall when I bought this, so let's see if I did it correctly. This is a very long lasting and smoothing effect blended with the lightness and natural finish of a second skin foundation. It's supposed to be soft and comfortable, oil free. It ensures a beautiful, hydrated, soft and comfortable skin like Look. All right, now the bottle looks like this. I like it, it's very slim. Kind of reminds me of the Dior um, Skin or Star Foundation, like the bottle. And now normally you guys know I love doing a beauty blender with my foundation, so I'm gonna try it. And if it starts to look weird, um, I'll use a brush, but let's give it a whirl. Mm, it smells really fresh, like nice skin care for sure. Let's just do a little, I'm just gonna dot it around my face. I'm just gonna start here and then we'll work our way up. So, did I put too much on? We're about to find out. Okay, just a few bounces of this, maybe because it's wet and the foundation maybe isn't supposed to be with water. It's looking a little weird, like watch, let me just buff this part out. It's almost like blotchy. So I'm gonna go in with the Oval 8 brush from Artiste and I'm just gonna brush this all over my face before it dries. God forbid it dries, it looks crazy. So far, it blended, it's like a little darker, it's blending nice. I think the Beauty Blender was like not having it. Maybe it's the formula. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more on this Artiste brush. We'll go in with the neck. All right, the foundation is blended. I like it, I'm not loving it so far. Um, a lot of the times you guys, primers and foundation, sometimes they do not mix. Now this one looks all right, it's not like cakey or crazy. The foundation is, I think, beautiful, but it's a little patchy from where the Beauty Blender was. I've tried to smooth it out, but using it on this side and everywhere else with the brush definitely was a lot nicer. I think the formula probably doesn't like water, which is okay. Now for a Concealer, what do we have today? Where's she at? This is the new Soft Matte Complete Concealer from the brand NARS. Now, I love NARS. I've been a huge fan of them for about 10 years. This is their brand new concealer. Let's open it up. Um, I think this is like a full coverage one. I'm in shade Light One Chantilly. I'm scared to apply this with a beauty blender because what if it makes the foundation weird? But I guess that's the whole point of this video is to try things out. So I'm just gonna use my finger and see what happens. Oh, okay, it's like, it's a thick formula, which I like. I'm just gonna try it out first with this before I do full on. Oh, she's thick, which I like. Ooh, and that was a nice little highlight. Okay, okay, I see what's going on here. So let me dip in again, and I'm just gonna kinda press that under my eye. So I'm just gonna kinda 
buff that in with my finger. Now before I do this side, I'm, I am gonna take the brush and just kind of test the water. So I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh wow, it's like blends it's so easy with this brush. Huh, that is really, really nice. Like right away, I'm a concealer like, I'm judgmental with concealers. A lot of the times you can tell really quickly if it's going to settle or get weird. And this one is like butter. Now to set this concealer, I didn't have any new setting powders around the house, so I bought one from the same brand that made that crazy serum I first showed you guys. La Paris has something called the Cellular Treatment Loose Powder. I know it's a fucking long word. This is just supposed to be fucking amazing. So let's open her up. It comes with a spatula embedded into the back. Whoa, that's crazy. And then it comes with a little uh, fluffy pad type thing. Woo, never used this before, so I'm like, holy shit. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so then this comes up. Oh my God, and then it's sealed. There's another barrier. Oh my God, so it says to pull this. And there's the powder, holy shit. Now I always apply setting powder with a damp beauty blender, so we're just gonna try this out. I'm gonna use this plastic and actually pour some in here. Press in there, pour up a lot of fucking powder. Ooh, Lord, let's try it. Oh wow, it's like definitely has a little bit of color to it. I'm just gonna put a lot on and we'll brush them off in a second. If you guys hear any weird noises, my jacket, it just sounds weird. Sorry about that. All right, so I've let that soak in for a minute. Now I'm just gonna take a blank NARS brush, a little kabuki, and just kind of dust it off. Okay, wow, that powder was kind of everything. The concealer has like settled, uh, like unreal. It's not cakey, it's not clumpy, it's not weird. Um, huh, okay. I'm waiting for a disaster to happen, but it hasn't hit me yet. Next step, let's do some contour before we set our entire mug. I have a few new products from Benefit that I've been dying to use. Um, I just recently did a trip with them where we went to an island and we got to play with some other new products. I was like, oh my God, bitch, I cannot wait to film with this. So this is the Fula Quickie Contour Stick. This is a cream contour. Now, one of my makeup artists, Lipstick Nick, used this on me the other day for a photo shoot and I was like, oh, oh, okay, this formula though. So she uses on me wherever I would contour and then she set it with powder, which of course is recommended. And I was like really, really impressed. So of course you can go in with a stick and go in on your own face if you want, like that. I mean, hi honey, are those cheekbones or what? Now this is more of a sheer formula, so don't be like, oh my God, Jeffrey, you just put on way too much. It definitely shears out and it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Let me just blend this out. Now, Beauty Blender, of course, can happen. Maybe a brush. Let me just show you how this shears down, you guys. Everyone at home is probably like, bitch, you've lost your damn mind. No, this does shear out, I promise. Don't think I'm cuckoo. Yes, now, I know at first you probably were like, oh my god, bitch, you put on way too much product. Because I always read people to filth for doing that. But see the difference? It shears out really, really pretty. It just kind of gives you that definitive, like, What's up, bitch? What it is? You got a problem? All right, now another trick that I love that um, Lipstick Nick did on me is she took a synthetic brush and she went back and forth on the product. Instead of drawing it on, she just took it like this and more so just kind of painted it on, which for my forehead and nose, I love. Because sometimes I do go overboard, but this is really easy to apply. So I'm just gonna go all the way down my nose and just kind of cut her in half. Like, mm. And then same thing for the forehead. We're just gonna cut my forehead in half. Now, of course, it's gonna look a little intense at first and then we're gonna shear her out so do not do not worry all right the nose is looking a little slender the forehead is a little dark but you know what we're doing a severe highlight look and contour look today now normally I would take a powder and coat my entire face with it but I don't have any new like finishing foundation powder you guys know I'd always go with my Mac Cosmetics Studio Fix powder Sorry girl, not today. So I was looking at all of my new packages that I bought in recently, new makeup, and YSL put out something that is called the Matte Finish and Blur. It's in French, and y'all know I'm not even gonna dare try. So basically, this is blurring and finishing the face without additional coverage. Now, when I opened it right now, I was like, oh my God, it's like pure white. By the way, the YSL symbol in there, I live for, I die for. So I'm just gonna take a brush, and let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna put this around the contour in case it really does fuck the shit up. I'm scared. Okay, under my eyes, around my mouth, underneath the contour. Let me just grab this powder brush and dust off. Tell me why, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but that shit made my skin like, whoa. Okay, it finished my face. I am excited to try this out more. The face is set. Now I am going to go in with this Morphe 527 brush for a little contour. And I'm gonna pull out the new Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Parade Palette. Look how cute this is though, what? This comes with blushes, it comes with bronzers, this has the infamous Hula, of course, and then there's a new shade, Hula Light. I'm gonna mix Hula Light and Hula Bronzer just for an added little 
Now, they are already carved out, but of course, you want to set that cream and just kind of gently go over them. All right, the face is fucking bronze, girl. The jaw's cut, the forehead is on fleek today. Next step, before I do anything, I'm gonna do a little blush, a little highlight, yes. Now for blush today, I am going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Blush Powder. It looks something like this, kind of like the highlighter. It's not kind of really, the packaging is identical, of course. This shade is called Barely Legal. So let's just put this on the apples of our cheeks. Mm. I like this so far because it's buildable. I've of course dipped in twice now and it looks really natural. I don't like blushes where they're so pigmented it looks like a clown right away. So this is it's pretty. All right, for highlighting today, I'm gonna be dipping into the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. It looks something like this. Now for this look today, I don't even know what kind of look I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing for my eyes. So today I'm gonna be dipping into Lyra and then Helia. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And of course I'm going to be using the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. So let me just start out by, oh, come on, pigment. This is like a peachy toned highlighter. It is really powdery, I will say that. I mean, it's there, it's subtle, you guys are seeing it, but I'm used to like the lining. So that's cute, it has a little bit of a glow to it. I want a little more of an intense effect, so I'm gonna try to dip into Helia. It's like a shape-shifting yellowish green type of color. Let's put this on top and just see what happens right here. Okay, that has a little bit more shine. I think we're getting somewhere. Ooh, okay, I'm liking how this is looking. All right, the verdict on this one is that I'm kind of loving the Nicole one a lot better. This one has a lot of fallout. The colors were not like blinding blinding like I'm used to, maybe because their brand has always delivered such intense ones. Maybe this is a little bit more subdued, but I will have to try putting this over lipsticks and other things. I've seen a lot of you on Instagram like put the pigment over lipsticks and stuff like that. So I'm not hating it, I'm just not obsessed with it yet. The cheeks are cute. All right, let's move on. All right, now I'm gonna shock you guys for brows. I don't have any new brow product. I'm so sorry. You guys know I am obsessed with my benefit, precisely my brow and the Anastasia dip brows, but um, I have no new brow products, but the cool thing about me is I don't have any, so if I don't wanna draw them on, I don't gotta draw them on. So I am just going to do a really kind of cute little alien soft glamour, and I am going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Prime Potion Original. I do use some of them, but the original, I've, I don't know if I've ever used this, have I? Maybe once on my channel? So I'm just gonna take this and do it all over my lid. I like to take an eyeshadow brush and just paint it on before it dries. For eyes today, I'm gonna be dipping into the new Jouer Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Palette, and it looks something like this. Now, I'm gonna start off with going into this pale, kind of like ivory shade called Petal, and I'm going to coat my lids all the way to the brow bone and just set it to filth. I mean, this matte shade has some pigment, honey. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now I am gonna take a brush that I normally highlight with. This is the Rose Gold R36 brush from Morphe. I like to take this and just kind of blend it up so it just really goes all into my, what we'll call the, what, the arch of my, my real brow. That is blended out. Now we are going to go into the shade right below it called Camel and just take a little blending brush and let's dive in there. So I'm gonna tuck this into my crease and we're gonna use this as our transition color. And now I'm gonna go back to shade Petal with the big blending brush and just kind of go over that and soften the edges so we like airbrush and fucking snatch. Damn, how look at that queen. All right, now to deepen the crease a little bit, I'm gonna be going into this darker shade right here. It is called Mauve. Now I know you guys can tell on camera that the shadows have a lot of fallout. I mean, a lot of palettes have fallout. The good thing about this one is the pigment is there, which is amazing. I'm looking out my eyes like, yes, girl. If we're into like natural looks, I think this palette, you can create endless looks for this. Um, for this, for that, for him, for her, for him. So I'm just gonna put this right in my crease. Now when I don't do brow looks, I like to bring down the shadow all the way to my nose. This kind of creates a extraterrestrial feel, if you will. All right, now we're gonna use the shade Aubergine, which is next to Mauve, it's a more darker color. And I'm just gonna use a little pencil brush and just kind of go along my lash line really thinly. And just create a little smoky effect. And we're gonna be very subtle with this. Now for liner, I found, I know I used a different shade before, so it's kind of a first impression because I've only used one ever. But the new Marc Jacob liners, these are the Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons. These are I think amazing because the one shade I used the other day, oh my god, was stunning. Now, this shade is called Mist Me, like M-I-S-T, Mist Me, question mark. Okay, oh my god, this almost looks like my liquid lip shade Below Pony. Work. All right, let's put this in the waterline and see what happens. Okay, the line, er, is on. 
Okay, I'm gonna take that brush that I just used on the top and I'm gonna go on the bottom. Converse, what can I say? All right, so let's go into the mauve shade a little bit here and I'm actually gonna dip a little bit into Amethyst, which is this purple shade. And we're just gonna mix and see what happens. This makes the lighter pop even more. This look is like so subdued for me, but I'm kind of living for it. And now I'm just gonna kind of flick back. So with no new product, I'm just kind of going back and just kind of giving it a little more smoke effect. All right, you guys. Now this look definitely needs some mascara and lashes. I'm gonna keep it simple and just keep it like this, but I am going to be using something I've never used before, which is the new The Shock Mascara from YSL. Is that the real name of it? Yes, that is. Mascara Volume Effect, The Shock. All right, this is in shade, I'm sure, black. It doesn't have a shade name on here, by the way. 40N901, great. All right, this is black mascara, and it looks something like this. Oh, wow. Let's look closely and see if this works. I'm looking at like the difference of one eye. That shit is crazy. All right, so I dunked in again, and let's hit the bottom. All right, now for lashes. Today I'm gonna be using the new Kim Tai Cake Face Beauty Lashes. These are so stunning, and these are called Lionhearted. So I'm gonna be wearing these today. I'm gonna go put them on, and I'll be right back. All right, the lashes are on. They are massive, dramatic, and amazing. Kind of like Nathan's dick. I think the only thing that's missing is maybe a little bit of shimmer right here. So I'm gonna go back into the Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm just gonna hit this shade called Luna. It's kind of like a silvery, pretty moment. And I'm just gonna dust this on top of the brow bone. All right, guys, I think the only thing left is lips and some setting spray. I cannot believe this look is almost complete. So for lips today, you guys, I'm gonna use a brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lip Shade that is coming out for summer. Now, this summer, there are eight liquid lip shades coming, and they, of course, will be in limited edition packaging. What color is the packaging this summer? You will have to find out in a few weeks. But I am going to use this shade. Now, this is in a lab sample, so it comes like this when it gets to me. It is one of my shades, you guys, and I'm gonna be using it today. This color is called Calabasas. Are you kidding me? I can't. All right, so Calabasas is on the lips. It's dry, I'm living for it. I cannot wait for you guys to play with this color. Okay, but before I finish the face, I was looking at my eyes, and I remember that I just got these now you guys have seen me use the Stila Magnificent Eye Glitters before on my channel a million times. They've been in my favorites videos, but they recently put out three new like duochrome colors and I've never tried them before. And one of them is speaking to my soul. It is called Sunset Cove and it looks like this. And it does have a duochrome shift effect of like purple green mermaid type of moment. I'm gonna swipe this on my lid and see what happens, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck that in there just like that. Oh wow, come on Lily. These aren't as blinding as the pure glitter ones, but they're still really cute. All right, woo! Now I think the only thing left is setting spray. Now a lot of you have asked me to review the new Glam Glow Glow Setter Finishing Mist. I didn't want to do a whole video dedicated to a setting spray, but we're gonna try it right now. Let's see how it mists first. Let's get her pumped up. Ooh, it's really fine, not crazy. So let's give us a whirl. Ooh, it has that classic like cake-like smell. Yes, I'm feeling drenched. Are we set? We're not done here. How are we looking? Woo! All right, you guys, I think this makeup look <laughs> is complete. All right, everybody, this completes my full face first impressions tutorial. If you guys wanna see more of these videos on my channel, let me know down below with some feedback, some comments, some love, some hate, some fucking animosity, some spirituality, some heartfelt passion. I think today I've learned a good lesson that try new things, right? Try new things, whether it's three guys at once, three girls at once, six people at once. Try new things, people. Now, I am gonna say this. One of my favorite things today, well, let me just go through all of my favorites. I really loved the Joy palette. Now, it did have some extreme fallout on some of the shades, but everything blended beautifully, and I don't think that the fallout was such a concern for me. It's eyeshadow. That happens with a lot of palettes, so this has something for everybody. Moving on, I really love these lashes. They are fucking massive. Imagine if I had brows on, they would like touch up to there. They would touch up to there, to my motherfucking brows, girl. Kim Tsai, these are amazing. Congratulations on your launch. And I gotta say, you guys, that YSL powder, I know it's a little pricey and it might sound a little absurd because you guys are probably like, girl, there's $3 finishing powders. This one was amazing. My skin still, I've been filming this for a while now. I took a break to go eat downstairs. My mama was getting low blood sugar. And I came back up here and I was surprised that I didn't need to like touch up my skin. It wasn't a little greasy in the T-zone like it normally is. It was just flat, matte, amazing. So, girl, I don't know what, what kind of voodoo is in this shit, but I can't wait to use it.